This year, the Nile Stock Show and Rodeo is celebrating 50 years of preserving and embracing the Western way of life. Of course, the Nile Stock Show and Rodeo is held each fall at Metro Park in Billings, followed by the Montana Agri-Trade Exposition. Then one of the most popular Nile events is held in the springtime. That, of course, is when the professional bull riders take over Rimrock Auto Arena. This is the Nile Salute to the PBR. The Nile has been the host of the longest running event stop of the elite PBR Built for Tough series. Events like the PBR take countless volunteers who donate their time to all Nile events. One of those individuals is former professional bull rider and Nile board member Butch Bratsky. You know, the PBR, I, our first event here was 1993, I believe, and uh, started off primarily with uh, Clint Bronger inviting a lot of his friends. And uh, luckily we got one of the top tier uh, bull ridings and it, w it worked out really, really well, primarily from the help of Clint Bronger. And then each year uh, we tried to make it better. We got up to where it was three perf deal. Um, and we, you know, it makes a huge difference these past few years. We've had the 15-15 battle. And in addition to the two full rounds and a short round, so when somebody can come up here on a weekend and win $45,000, it's a huge, huge event. And the people that it brings, since it's nationally televised, is unreal. And it hits uh, the Nile organization just about the right time. We have a fall show, we have the mate, and now we have the PBR. And all three of those together contribute to uh, the success of the Nile. The Nile Stock Show and Rodeo, along with the Billings PBR event, has inspired many local youth to aspire to be professional bull riders, but some just find themselves clowning around. It, it had an extreme impact, I think, just because it was so close, first of all. I came here as a kid watching it, of course, and then it's just it, it's just cool. It's almost, it's, it's like my, it's, I kind of consider it my hometown rodeo almost, because I live, you know, kind of middle of nowhere, so. I kind of consider it my hometown because I have a lot of people around here and stuff. And, and then to go from the pro rodeo and then go to the next level, kind of the PBR and be involved with it now, it's, it's super awesome. It's, it's a dream come true for sure. It's probably about my favorite PBR in the home state, uh, third, three hours from home. You can't really beat that. Uh, get to ride in front of friends and family. I love it. Well, I just grew up watching this rodeo and uh, my mom and dad competed, and I'm still watching my Aunt Lisa Lockhart compete, so I come up here whenever she's up and I get to watch her, and it's just been, ever since I was little, it's something we've always made a thing out of. The Nile Stock Show and Rodeo and events like the PBR do truly serve as a foundation to inspire youth and bull riding fans of all ages to pursue their dreams, and the future looks very bright for the next 50 years of Nile events like the PBR. The Nile PBR, that was my first win on the Built Ford Tough Series and it vaulted me up in the world standings big time and kind of got my name out there in the PBR and uh, I mean that's where everything started really. I, just, I, see, it, I see it growing, I, got, I see it just getting bigger and better and I see the PBR coming here and getting bigger and better and I just, I just see it getting, people, people in this area they love agriculture, they love rodeo, they love bull riding so I can't see it getting any worse for sure, so, and I'm going to be a supporter of it my whole life too. So. The PBR fills the house, sound, music, lights, action, um, you know, the, the seats are great, uh, I love the event. On behalf of the crew and the selfless volunteers at the Nile, we would like to thank and salute all of the professional athletes, fans, community, and the PBR for helping embrace and preserve the Western way of life. Here's to the next 50 years. I just want to thank the Nile for 50 years of awesome rodeos and awesome entertainment and uh, giving me the opportunity to compete at it and be successful at it and taking me to where I am today in my rodeo career. And it's, uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't, imagine, couldn't imagine where I am today without the Nile and what they've done for me. Thanks to everyone that helps with the Nile. It's not possible without all you guys and uh, all the people that put it on, put out the work and the volunteers. Uh, 50th anniversary, that's something big, and thanks to all you guys.